I, I don't think you're ready to hear this. Hi, my name is David Niave from Tree Nail Studios. Like I said, I don't think you're ready to hear this. I know I wasn't, and I know I'm not ready. Every time I want to listen and read Ecclesiastes, I, it's just like, ugh, it gets me. And it starts off pretty straight to the point. We know, like I mentioned in the intro, that we're not 100% sure if King Solomon is the one that wrote it, but we know that it was the son of David because it says it, says it there in verse 1. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 2 says, Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher, utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. Once again, that's how the intro was. And we're not ready for this. It, go, it starts the foundation to let you know that everything you're doing has no point. Do you ever just wake up day in, day out? You wake up, turn on the coffee machine, get the tea ready, whatever it is you do in the morning. Sometimes I go work out, I have a routine of working out. I get up, I work out, get the kids ready, go to school, get back. And by the time you know it, it's 1 p.m., 2 p.m. And you're like, man, what have I done? And then you do it over, and then you do it over, and then you do it over and over. And then you're like, what is the whole point? Or you have those moments where you're working, working, working. You go on this one week trip and you're done. What is the point? Ecclesiastes 1 verse 3 says, What do people gain from all their labors at which they toil under the sun? Verse 4 says, Generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. What is the whole point of working and working and working? Because once you're gone, the next generation is coming. And the one that was before is already gone. Two before you, maybe you remember, maybe you don't. This book is getting you to understand, hey, stop killing yourself working because it has no point. Now, it doesn't say don't work hard. I want to make sure you guys don't get, don't get a, the wrong idea and say, hey, I want to watch this channel because it's telling me not to work hard. No, don't kill yourself working hard because it has no point. Also, everyone's going to forget about you in the next generation. Man, I just wanna laugh when I hear that. Everyone is gonna forget about you. Just think about it. Many famous people, what do they wanna do? They wanna be remembered forever. They wanna be immortalized, break records, invent something new. Think about all the things that people are trying to do so their name can live forever. And Ecclesiastes is saying, that doesn't matter. We go on in Ecclesiastes 1.5. The sun rises, the sun sets, and hurries back to where it rises. Verse 6 says, The wind blows to the south and turns to the north. Round and round it goes. As we continue in this book and in this chapter, it's letting you know every day the sun will go up and it will come down. The wind will go north, will go south, go east and west. It will just do its thing and it will come back. There is nothing you can do. It also says as we go on in the book, that the waters go back to the rivers, back to the lakes, they go to the oceans, and overall, the water is just there. There is nothing you can do about that. Why read this book? Again, all of us have that routine every morning. All of us have those things that we just do. All of us have those things that we're working so hard for. Chapter one is getting the foundation to let you know, stop killing yourself and pay attention to what does matter. Again, if you remember from the intro, the word meaningless, think of it as vain, vanity, or like smoke, or like vapor. Think about this. Picture this. This is the one thing from chapter one that I want you to focus on. If in your career you work and work and work, or maybe you're in school, you're work, going to school day in, day out, and you're about to graduate, and then you get that diploma, or you finally get that raise that you wanted, what's next? Oh, the next step. Wait, but I just spent 10 years killing myself for this point and that now that I'm trying to grab it, it has no meaning because now the next thing is the next thing I will kill myself for. Does that make any sense? By the time you know it, the next 10 years, the next 10 years, and then you get to the point that you're 80 years old and everything you've done has no meaning because maybe the company you were working for no, no longer exists. The degree you killed yourself all your life now is worth nothing because there's a new one out there. Again, this book, is letting you know everything is meaningless. The sun will rise, will come down, generations will come and go. 
everything has no meaning. Join me for the next video as we go and dive in deep on chapter two. Again, we're not reading through the whole chapter, it's just getting you to understand what the Bible has to offer in our lives. If you like more of these videos, like, subscribe, leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Now, this is what I think Ecclesiastes is trying to tell in my life. But what's important is, what do you think it's trying to tell you in your life? Like us, subscribe, join us for the next video.